Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing something like a little bit different. I have found a way to play Destiny, Destiny 1, on mouse and keyboard. I know some people figured it out before, and that, but there's no videos on YouTube on actually telling you how to play this. Or play Destiny with my mouse, Destiny 1, sorry, with a mouse and keyboard. And I'm going to get this out of the way straight away. No, this cannot be done on a PlayStation, unfortunately. So, now that we've got that out of the way, there are two apps you are going to need. One, you should already have downloaded if you have a Windows 10 computer. Obviously, you're going to need a computer for this. You're going to want to have the Xbox app. Second, this app here, and I've got two of them open, called Xbox Keyboard Mouse. Now, this can be installed from this link here, which is down in the description. All you want to do is come over to Clone or Download, and click Download as a zip. Once that's installed, it'll appear under your downloads. You just want to open that up and unzip it if you must. Now you are going to have to run this here. This basically just lets the program work. And going to get this out of the way as well. This is 100% safe. There's no, You're not going to get a virus or anything as long as you install it from this link here that I put in the description. After you've done that, and you have to do that, otherwise it won't work. I've learned that the hard way. You can read through this if you want. It only just in, just shows you a bunch of shite on how to play it, but I'm gonna or how to set it up. But I'm gonna tell you how to do it anyway. Let's go to installer, launch the setup. After that, I found it just through to here. Open it up, and it should look like this. It won't be red. I've just clicked to turn it off. We want to go to actually you can click on controller. You can break your controller there, but we know the settings and. Keyboard. So, this is where you set the Xbox buttons to your keyboard. Like, for the A button, I've set to space for jumping on that. F, I've, or Y, I've changed to F for change weapons or something. R for reload, left control for crouching, and, well, it says return, but enter button for that. And then, come to the mouse. Now, you want to ignore all of this. All this here, th that's... Mine may look different because I've been messing around with it. This was a pain to set up because using keyboard and mouse is a massive disadvantage normally on this game. As oh, it's it's just horrible aiming that. But luckily, there's an automated method that I figured out. Um, I don't know if you need to change this. I've set mine to ten anyway. But you want to be using dead zoning. Now, if you want to read down here, you can see. Uh, we go to dead zone. It explains it, and I'll explain it all to you. So once you're comfortable with the uh, settings you set up here, what you want to do, come out of that, we actually want to come to here and click stream. All right, so sorry. When you go to stream, click stream. Wait for it to come up. Yeah, no control attached, blah, 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 continue. Go down to here and open it up. Once it's done, click into here. And then it will come up with attention, and new input detected. And then whenever you assign the B button to, for me, left control, click it. And then it's assigned my keyboard as a quote-unquote new controller. And then if I move, you can see it. I'm actually moving with my mouse right now. And if I press the space bar, you can see I'm jumping. Now let's set up your sensitivity with your mouse. You can see mine's, mine's pretty much perfect almost. And you'll be seeing something different right now. And I just clicked. <laughs> That's one thing you got to get used to. <laughs> Click escape and it exits it out. Click stream again. Alright. There we are. We're back. Alright. So I believe I have my. Don't press tab either. It come up with that. So you want to press F12. And you want to hover your hand over F12. When it starts to move, press F12 again. Now. So yeah. Are we going to go through that again? Press F12, you want to hover, keep your finger over F12 as soon as your aim starts to move. Press it again. Now we're going to press F11, and when it moves, you want to press it again. And now, you would have found out that you calibrated the aim, and it's all properly working now. Alright, so after doing the calibration with the mouse, and you've assigned all your buttons, you are pretty much done. You can go around, play the game, whatever. For me, I've got E to melee, Q to throw a grenade. So, unfortunately, 
to be able to activate super, I need to press Q and E at the same time. And I accidentally press tab up there. So there's that. You can see up my when I press W and uh, when I press A and D at the top, it's moving. That's because I accidentally pressed tab. Yeah, what you don't want to do is press tab or escape. That's something you're gonna get used to doing. Now well, I'm gonna go one step further. Get a third program. So. Here we have a macro. Now I'm going to be using the normal Razer Synapse because I use a Razer keyboard. As you can see, I've made a macro to press spacebar twice every 0 0.001 seconds. To do that, all you want to do is just add a new one, macro for keystroke, and then set, go down here, spacebar, and to get, normally you can't get 0.01. And I just bought that. To get that, you just want to remove that and just put a point front there. As you can see, that has made it change to that. Now, after that, if you're using the sign up scales, go to keyboard, select the button you want to assign it to. And I clicked play while assigned key is pressed. So when I hold down the X button, it will tighten skate. Which obviously is very useful. As you can see here, if I run, you can see you can obviously get some. An insane Titans get going. Oh, this isn't the best way to show it. So I will cut to something else. Okay, so now we're here, we're just going to start Titans game. Hold down the X button. And all I'm doing is hold down next, not doing anything. I wouldn't set the macro to spacebar, as then that will really affect your actual normal jumping. You see, you're getting. Probably. I don't, I don't know if, like. I'm not that good at Titan Skating normally, so I don't know how far someone who's amazing at Titan Skating can go. But let's just say, you know, pressing. The, uh, I don't think the fastest Titan Skater can press the jump button a thousand times a second. Oh, right, fuck that then. I'm gonna change this to catapult. Still, we just escape. Yeah, just getting, just getting a little bit of speed, you know. Just, just a wee bit of speed. Like I said, it does get used to having to remember where buttons are and that. That was a pain in the ass for me. Like V for me is bring up ghost and tab and that. Why am I even on the sparrow? It's fast at the Titan Skate. So let's get ultimate test and get on the sleeper simulant. Alright, this is just a little route I messed with the other day. We're just going to go down this hill, get on a certain path. See, I'm not the best at Titan skating, but with a macro mouse and keyboard, you can definitely uh, go faster than others. <laughs> I only hit a rock and died. Well, isn't that fun? But yeah, that's the basics to using keyboard and mouse to playing Destiny, and how to macro the shit out of it as well. Oh, we got a public event. How fast we can get up this? Oh. And we're just levitated. But anyway, guys, that was that for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy playing this game with mouse and keyboard. I know this is my main way of playing Destiny now. So you playing with a controller, this is hella more fun. And more broken. I love it. But yeah, like I said, thank you guys all for watching. I also have an awesome video coming out next as well, which you guys should wait for. But yeah. If you guys like the video, leave a like. If you like my content, the subscription would mean a lot to me. And also go check out my main channel, which you can find somewhere around the screen here. Somewhere there. Lurking. But yeah, see you guys in the next video.